those computer adaptive tests. Go to your Archer View dashboard, click on QBank in the left hand panel, and then head over to previous tests where you can see all of the exams you've taken. I'm gonna go ahead and click on CAT so that I can see all the different CAT exams I've taken, as well as scroll down where you can get a list of every single exam. So here, all my CAT exams are listed out. I see I've passed this one, but I want a more in-depth review of the score. So let's click on this green button for score and statistics. Starting out on the score page, you'll first see your result, which is simply a pass or fail. And this tells you whether you were above or below the passing threshold which is represented by this green line down here on the graph. This green line is nothing more than the mark which the NCSBN sets to say, hey, you are a safe nurse. If you can score above that green line, then they will deem you are safe and you pass your NCLEX. Your score is represented on this graph by the purple line. So when I started out at question number zero, I got that correct here, and then I got a harder question. You'll see as I move along the graph, question 10, question 20, they started to get harder and harder. As the graph goes up, so does my difficulty level. Here, I got towards the top of the difficulty level and started to get some wrong, so my score came down and my area of the curve widened as the prediction got a little less sure. I continued on that same track and I stayed above that green line. As long as you end the test above that green line, above that passing grade, your score will be a pass. Now, what if you start off with getting questions correct and then your score dips below that green line? and you're not able to get enough questions correct to come above it. Well, if your score ends below that green line, that would be a fail result. You're not above the passing threshold. That is a fail on a computer adaptive test or a CAT exam. So let's review these questions. If you scroll down, you'll see the same breakdown you saw in your readiness assessments. All the QIDs you can sort by client need or subject and the average peer score. Again, I recommend sorting by percent that your peers got correct. Here we see the lowest number first, so we see the hardest question first. This question tagged at 40% is a hard question, so I'm going to spend less time worried about that and more time worried about my easier questions that I may have gotten incorrect. So if I see these easy questions that I got incorrect, I'll want to click on that QID and make sure I do a thorough review of that answer and rationale. Make sure to watch these videos that go over the key concepts presented in your questions. If you've gotten the concept wrong, it's time to review these quick little segments that will point you to that information. Now toggling over to the statistics page, you have the opportunity to analyze your answer changes by seeing if you've changed your answer from correct to incorrect. I did, so I might wanna think about that. I'll also be able to look at that question distribution by subject, lesson, client need, and topic. I really like the lessons in particular. So I know here, 38% on gastrointestinal. I got a lot of GI questions here. So I can scroll down and I can see that 56% of them, I got those incorrect. So I may go back to my GI video and give that another look, maybe read those notes. I can even compare how I did to my peers. The peers scored 59% of those GI questions correct, and I only got a 44%. So that reaffirms for me, GI is a weak area, and I should really review it. I hope this has given you some 
insight into how to look at your cat scores, analyze that graph, and use your answers to your advantage. Make sure to go through those statistics to find your weak areas. If you need some help, we always have tutors every day, every night, willing to assist you in finding those weak areas so you can develop a study plan and pass your CAD exams. We're rooting for you, Archer Review.